kind of a rare live stream treat. I believe it is with respect to us doing Emerald Coast live stream. Checking on the animals. So they're all good to go. So we are in early summer and uh, basically we're doing a little off camera work, if you will, uh, between the video that's going to come out next Wednesday and the video that's going to come out next Friday. So what you're seeing here is kind of about a week ahead of uh, the broadcast schedule, if you will. Thanks for the sub, Dominic. Like I said, we are in middle summer. Harvesting barley, baling barley with our prone square baler from the straw harvest pack. And now we've got a whole bunch of barley. We need our bales we need to pick up because I'm trying to get this field flipped for cotton. Hey, Genetic, what's up? We're also putting manure on the field and basically planting it in cotton. And I want to get all of that done before the end of the day. Thanks for the sub. I'm sure how to pronounce that. I need to go over here and I need to get my semi. Because while in the recorded videos, we pick things up the manual way. We just don't have time to do that. Need to get everything else accomplished, so we're going to be doing it the old cheaty way. Because we are running this at five times speed. Hey, Mark, what's up? Hey, Will. Discord, I wasn't going to be able to pronounce that name. I need to change this over to Raw Harvest Square Bales. And time to cheat a little bit. Hey, Patrick, what's up? Hey, Missy B. Welcome to the stream. Congratulations on the mod release. I do a little, little cheaty bale picking up because I need to get all these bales picked up in a reasonable time period. I'll take them over here. If anyone has watched Emerald Coast stuff, you know we've got two straw bale stacks over here. Building. Whoops. Sometimes I forget the auto load buttons. Hey Hoot, what's up? Oh yeah, that's there you go. Auto and load. Like Pete and repeat. That's an interesting predicament. Anyone else that's watched the series knows that uh We've got two brothers, both are named Daryl. Anyone doesn't know the Bob Newhart Show reference with that? Check out the Bob Newhart Show. Oldie and Goody.
Now I drive with no one's watching. It was typical to Florida panhandle fashion. We've got rain coming tomorrow. And I've got four fields of barley or oats to bring in. Try to field flip. And I just don't know if I'm going to be able to... Uh, There we go. Actually filled the uh, we filled the Brock bin way over there with uh, with barley. I had to start putting it in. So I have to uh, I have to now put it in the silo down at the pig farm. All right, hey Dub, thanks for dropping by. Yeah, I guess Bob, yeah, I think Bob Newhart's still kicking. The premise of that show was he was running a uh, an inn up in New England. And there was this neighbor, these neighbors, Larry, Daryl, and Daryl. And Larry did all the talking for the three brothers. Two Daryls, they never said a single word during the entire show, except for the very last episode. Where I think the, uh, the brothers, Daryl, got married. And I think the wives also shared the same name. And, um... And the wives in that episode, they wouldn't stop talking. I think the only thing the brothers Daryl ever said was something about wishing that the women would, would shut their mouths or something. Oops. There we go. Really, the goal for this game day is to get this field harvested, get the other field, uh, the bales picked up, manure done, and the planting done. And then tomorrow, game day tomorrow, we're going to try to flip this field. And then we've also got some fields of oats. Show you guys here while we're offloading this harvester. That is the same Bob Newhart. So we've got this field, this field, and this field. We're all in barley. Working on finishing these two fields out. And then we have an oat field over here and three oat fields over here. So we've got four oat fields. And three of them are ready to harvest. This one isn't quite yet. I expect this one will be ready to harvest in mid-summer, which will be tomorrow. And the plan is basically we're going to, depending on how far we get in this live stream, one idea I've got for next Friday's video is basically um, something called like straw three ways. where we will uh, 
basically we'll bale straw off a of field three, which is that little narrow field over there to the left. So we'll bale the straw off of that field and use it for our horses. Uh, then we will uh, collect the straw off of field two and use that down the Razwood factory for our compost production. And then we'll use the pellet maker from straw harvest off of field uh, one and basically then use that down at the pallet factory or just sell it loose over at um, farmland because on Monday we saw a video where I basically built out the uh, pellet industry out of a vacant lot downtown and in tomorrow's video we're going to be back down there because it was raining and we're just going to be making a hell heck of a lot of pallets And then if we run out of, we fill up these two straw stacks, then we'll take it down to the pellet factory. I've got some GTX pellet, pellet, sorry, GTX bale stacks down there to uh, also store this stuff. Hey Nighthawk, what's up? When I was doing some of this work last night, I thought to myself, you know what, I've got a lot of, I've got a couple more hours of this to go. Why don't we, uh, why don't we forego a Ballydorn stream? and make it an Emerald Coast stream instead. That's what we're going to do. Hey, Golden Eye, what's up? Uh, Preston, it's hard to say what I really spent on that uh, without just looking at it in the store because I built it out over a period of time. So you can't really look at the first video, the video before and a video after uh, because there's a fair bit of other transactions going on. But uh, we'll swing down there and we'll take a look at it. Show you the pellet industry that we uh, that I made out from an empty lot. Talk to you about some plans I've got for that. You'll see we now own all the fields. Own all the fields now on the map, and we got three million in the bank. Pretty much don't have any more expenses. Let's go. Go check. Go check some stuff out. If anybody's not familiar with the Emerald Coast map, find it over at Nexus Mods or simply Safe Mods.
guess maybe simply safe mods might have the latest edition. Map does have mud, as you can see. So on the normal Emerald Coast map, of course the, the cell points also are on timers. They open and close. So this area right here is an empty lot. It's just full of trees on the, uh, the normal Emerald Coast. And uh, we built this out, we cleared the trees. And I've got a few plans for what else I want to put in here. I want to put in pallet storage for the uh, straw pallets themselves and maybe loose pallet loose pellet storage also in here got our building put in a placeable fuel tank and the water got straw and hay storage buildings there an easy shed put in the I put in the uh, burning plant so yeah simply safe will also be where you'll find uh, Midtown USA 4x when that's released then down here this was also this is also an empty lot in the uh, the normal map where I built a BGA across from farmland here Uh, he might be, David. I made a couple casual comments to him about it. So, CCS 101 was nice enough to, re, to rework this building. Uh, because I think this building was kind of weathered and, and um, had some various stains on it and stuff. So, he helped by getting that cleaned up. Because I wanted to put that down. Kind of our office shed storage. This GTX is placeable scale. It does work. It shows us pounds and kilograms, although I think my truck is probably heavier than that, right? And then the rest of this was built out with, uh, with Castor's placeable GP or BGA pack. Digestate storage, the digester. Put a ramp in just to make it quicker to sell BG or um, silage, and then we've got the three-sided silage bunkers from my good friend Rockhound Mods. Put down here. I think this turned out really good for being a you know previously just a vacant lot. Well, Preston, I, I suspect he hid the comment section because he's probably not going to have time to uh, moderate those comments. And as a result, he doesn't want basically a whole bunch of comments spam showing up. Also, to kind of honor buddy Rockhound and POWs in general I don't really talk about this very much on the series but we put down here kind of as a showpiece Rockhound's Kenworth A100 POW truck that he did and maybe a few months after FS19 came out this is a legit truck you know we could drive it around if we wanted to. 
Now, sadly, this was posted on a website that isn't anymore. I don't know where you can get it anymore now. That's all cool things. Raise and lower that. Slide the fifth wheel. Oh, uh, we can also... Have it so you could dip this. Maybe that was the 17 version. So those are really the only things that I think I've really changed on the map. It put in a an open cow pasture over at the cow farm also. Yeah the POW truck isn't just there for decoration, it's it's a workable mod. I just have it as a set piece, if you will, down at the shop for this series. I'll pull it up in the store. It might be available over at Rockhound Mods over on Facebook. Now, I'm such a Facebook noob, I don't, I don't know that half that stuff. Hang on, I'm not gonna, I can't help you with pirating software, I'm sorry, that's, even what I do in real life, that would be, uh, not something I would be allowed to, uh, morally participate in. I mean, it was free over on Epic Game Store a few weeks ago. Trucks. Oh, uh, yeah, here's the uh, A100. Tribute. Uh, we've got the Michelin tires. 800 horsepower truck on it. Let's go over and check out the uh, silo that I fill it up. I don't even know how much it took. So all of a sudden it just stopped taking product. Yeah, this map is probably about three times too big for uh, the console max file size. Which means that the... Um, the slot count would probably be unplayable. Over to the left, we've got the cow farm. The only thing I really changed at the cow farm is I planted some trees around the uh, combination sheep cow pasture. Cleared, cleared this area of trees and put down my my beef area. And then put a fence around it. But yeah, I filled this bin. Won't take any more product. 471,428 liters. 
of barley is in that bin. Yeah, the, the free version from Epic, that was that was an epic freebie giveaway, wasn't it? Now some folks have had some issues with the multiplayer, with using multiplayer with it for uh, for hosting dedicated servers, but aside from that, pretty cool. Oh, the trees are getting big. Silo only holds 216,000. It only holds four products because there's four bins. And then um, these over here, these are pretty cool. These have been configured to only accept one product at a time. Uh, so you can put in either root crop, potatoes, or sugar beets, but once you put sugar beets in there, you can only put sugar beets in there until it's empty. This is kind of our John Deere pig farm. Darren helped me put corn, um, corn fodder bales in on the map, so that was fun. Hey, Fat Mike, what's up? Hey Shane. For this area here, this these are compost bunkers if you're not familiar with the map. You get a product called interesting enough called pre-compost from the Raswood factory, and that's a combination of sugar beets, straw, and manure. And then that makes pre-compost. You take the pre-compost down to the, those bunkers and you compact it like silage. Uh, blanket it up and let it cook. And then when it comes out, it's black gold. That you can then use um, either on the fields as substitute for manure or you can use as a uh, as a product to sell for pretty good money. I have to figure out where on earth at here we are. With our manure spreading. I did put in the uh, the enhanced. This map does have the enhanced seasons um, shaders to it, or whatever. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if the new version has uh, corn stalks in it. I've slowly added stuff kind of in this custom edit over the last several game years.
I didn't know how realistic this would be to spread manure and then um, correct, correct drill. But uh, I had a ton of manure and I didn't want to spread granules out. Um, I guess I could have done digestate or slurry also. But one of the other big um, notable aspects of this map is this giant forest. Not familiar with the map. And you can now buy 19 different segments of land. Start here where this kind of forestry camp is for 46 grand. And then work your way out. Uh, there's, I don't know, something like. 30,000 trees over there or something. Some ridiculous big number. Really, you don't grow corn? Maybe it's maybe it's too hot. I don't know. I did put down the egg storage. Did change out the farmhouse. I ran over my tail forks. Of nowhere. Drive over them and puncture our tire. Bumped in with this thing. I mean, yeah, well, with a hundred and uh, thirty nine cows. We make a lot of poo. Well, Nighthawk, that that technically isn't a mod. Um, one, it was kind of ripped off from another guy. And two, if you just add that to your map, it can cause some interesting side effects that you may not be aware of. Really, in order to have that functionality, you need to um, you need to add it to the map. It's, yeah, the cow area, I need to go in and tweak. Because I've actually not consumed an ounce of straw in about three seasons. I filled it up with straw, like, going into winter. And I haven't added a single bit of straw since the start of winter. I need to go in and try to, I guess, zero out the straw and zero out the slurry. And see if I suddenly start to uh, consume straw again.
Uh, if you're not familiar with the map, the map also has um, anhydrous as a fill type. So right over there, that's the anhydrous uh, cell point. We'll do another pass up and down, and then I think at that point we'll have enough round head work to be able to start our heater. Hey, Raznik, what's up? Or our planter. How is things over at No Man's Land, Raz? Is it the land too tough to tame? Turn the clock back just a few ticks. Quarter, quarter to nine. It's going to get too dark for us to uh, plant here in a little bit. running. Hey, Nitro Dad. Alien Jim is here. We can, uh, oh, dude, you're like an hour and a half too early. Can't, I can't end this stream already. Not sure what to do now. All right, everyone look away. Magic happened. Blood. Blood is murder. Imagine if we had an Alien Gym PCS 101 collaboration. What would they collaborate on? doing good nitro dad it's always a good day when my two favorite mappers are are sharing the stream with us This is the uh, run.
I don't know, maybe it'd be like two artists that could never, uh, never agree on a vision. Will Jim Akers? That's an... How about... How about something... Area 53... Careful, you'd get stuck in the mud. Oh, it's something like one fine map. Area 101. So, what would be the uh, what would be the sequel to No Man's Land? Would it be called One Man's Palace? Well, I'll tell you that map, what was that map, um, St. Croix's Flowage? That had an interesting ramp. I almost wanted to uh, see how far I could jump the Mahindra. Could be called no farmland map. How about a uh, apocalyptic farming? Set. We'll see some nice colors here tonight. Oh, there you go. One man's utopia. Now we got to come up with a location.
thinking someplace where where both would be at home. Like the inside of a biosphere. Where you'd be farming on the inside of of a uh, a sphere. I think Raz said it earlier, it could be Mars farming inside of domes. Yeah, they changed the name because I, they didn't want me whipping out the uh, the Joey impersonation. I don't know anything about a Dyson sphere. The only thing about Dyson I know is he supposedly makes really cool vacuums. Seem kind of expensive. Well, we all know who Linda is now. Gave away the secret. Oh, watch out for those forks. Done put holes in all my tires. Plus, I figure this would be a good spot to do the manure because it's so close. It's stuck in the mud. Watch me drive through the cow. No cows are harmed during the filming of this video. Back to planting our cotton.
a map with just crop circles. Or the irrigation circles, I mean, round fields. Any liquid fertilizer and seed. Do I have any? That is the question. Yeah, I was wondering if Alien Jim may have had some play in the uh, April Fool's video that Giants put out. Say manure just flies through this thing. Just about one pass up and down before we run out. here a minute. I think I might have some still in my uh, feed tender. If not, we may have to use some magical uh, alien transport or uh, teleportation properties. Oh, they did one about crop circles coming to uh, maps. Oh, we, we are out of seed. All right, well, the magical properties of television. This is how we uh, enter into cell points that are closed at night. Don't try this at home, kids. 
I'm a trained teleportation specialist. All right, beam me up, Scotty. You open the, uh, Lid. Can't stop the cheating. I gotta go get liquid fertilizer. Anything takes a huge amount of seed. We'll drop that off. I'm going to get my liquid tank down here at this other farm. At least we have AI traffic that drives at a reasonable speed on this road. So, poor Daryl, he was uh, frying a turkey one Thanksgiving and burned his house down. Had to live in that trailer for years. Maybe one year they'll uh, start rebuilding. Fertilizer do I have? I think. Oh, I'm out. Have any? Boys and girls, we're gonna do this again. Oops. This is what happens if you're not properly trained in the art of teleportation.
You wind up in a fence. are you? What are you all honking your horn at? Like you've never seen a truck and a trailer just materialize in a fence before? Move on. There's nothing to see here. Certainly won't be anything to see here in a minute. Wait, stop it. Now we'll be set. If I was a good streamer, I would have uh, made sure I didn't have to cheat like this. That's not what us professionals do. I do seriously want to get this field planted though because I'm thinking it might go through a growth stage overnight. Yeah, that's what that's what I was going to do if uh, if it didn't work. Light this thing up like a Christmas tree. Now every field is actually harvested. I will say teleport is is a content creator's best friend getting things prepped moved around in a timely manner or we get off on our exit Right. But we will get to see a nice Florida sunset. Got the view distances cranked up on, uh, on the graphic settings so we can see way off in the distance the uh, granary cell point towers. Be off there, barely see off there between the trees. Our silo complex over at the other farm.
that between these trees here in a moment. So hopefully in like two weeks, two and a half weeks, be able to show off a new map, Midtown USA 4X. Really excited about that. If I talk enough about it, then maybe it'll actually happen. I mean, Midtown USA 4X has been coming for like three months now. <clears throat> um, every time, okay, should be ready by the end of the month. And next month should be ready by the end of the month. I guess Will keeps forgetting which month it should be ready by. That's just it's a fertilizer stage. Fertilizer is fertilizer in the game. A real difference. And of course, with seasons, you need three fertilizer states. So we're getting one state from the manure. Planter is putting down a second state. So we'll only need to come through here with a sprayer after our crops come up. Oh, there's that fork in. I'm going to hit that fork every time I drive through here. So I get it out of the way. Stone Valley, I hear that was, did I hear that was sent to Giants or was that something completely wrong? Apparently it's been completely reworked. Oh. Okay, once we get... This is what we'll do. Once we get this spread, we'll get down and play in the pellet factory while this planter is still running. We'll be able to see something better. I know it's dark. We've only got a couple more passes to do. And Kyler, while while your message was hidden, I'm spreading it because I want to. And this is an easy way of getting basically the first stage and now the second stage because I'm planting and fertilizing. And then I need to only come back and do one more, get three. But mostly because I want to. Oh, uh, we're getting a nice orange sunset from that new uh, color pack.
the country buffet is still open. <laughs> hey, Hilo, what's up? Yeah, I'm guessing we've got another one, two, maybe three passes with the spreader. It won't take very long. Hoping that planter can uh, get this field done in the, uh, the amount of it's got. Hey, Whitetail, what's up? Yeah, so I had. I had an abundance of manure. So I thought, well, why don't I just use it here by these fields because I'm so close to the cow area. Fairly convenient. The only, only other use of I have for manure is to take it down to Raswood facility for pre-compost. And I really don't need to take any more manure down there for pre-compost at the moment. So what better way to use 300,000 liters of manure? Uh, we've got 87,000 liters of slurry. And I, gosh, I don't know how many gallons of digestate we've got down at the BGA. We ran like million and a half liters worth of silage through there. We're doing this, we'll have two stages of fertilization done. And then I'll spray for weeds when we have uh, the cotton come up through the ground. And then we'll spray liquid fertilizer when um, basically when uh, we get another growth stage after that Because what we're doing is we are clipping. Map has a custom geo, so we can harvest our barley, and we can plant cotton at the same time. So we're going to plant cotton in our barley fields, and then we'll be able to get two crops off of this year. And we're going to do the same with our oats. We're going to harvest our oats in mid-summer. And we're probably going to plant soybeans um, down there. Got to see what the rotation planter says. If it uh, says that we get good yield off of that, we might even put more cotton in. If we do that, we're going to have a lot of cotton. We've got three fields of cotton here. We're going to have one, two, three more fields of cotton there. And then we might get one, two, three, four more fields of cotton. Be rolling in the cotton bales. Yeah, one more pass with our manure spreader. And then we'll run down where we've got some light and we'll do some pellet work while our 
Planter finishes the field out. There you go. That's perfect logic, Raz. You want to play on the computer in the morning? Yes. Well, you can't get to morning without sleep. Morning comes a lot faster when you sleep. Hopefully I don't run anything out of fuel. I put the more fuel usage in, and I tell you, I've run more tractors out of fuel in the fields since I did that than I've ever done. Watch out, little sheeps. Oh. Felt stuck in the mud. Oh, manure is whittling down. Get out of the way. Otherwise, in the morning, this is where it might fly off to as the uh, manure piles in. start really love these dust dawn lights works so nice casting that round light we have lost all light it is now ridiculous Might have to show you my other way of cheating at night. Let's go to wireframe view. Now I can see all kinds of things. See, normal? Wireframe. Best way to find stumps. Go into wireframe. Also use this to find bales at night. Uh, no, Preston, at, at 10 years, I am done. Lots of things I want to do that I haven't been able to do because I want to concentrate on basically doing the 10-year gameplay. Uh, why tell? I do not have a mods list other than to say that pretty much 99% of the mods used on this play series are in my mod review playlist. Uh, F4. With the uh, dev controls turned on. 
F5 shows you the triggers and such. F4 does wireframe. And really useful for finding um, dumps. I want to go this way. That going. Let's just put 12 bales through while we're waiting on that. Uh... Well, you have to have uh, you have to have previously gone in and enabled developer controls. That's an XML edit in your game settings. This was something I learned. I was watching a video about this online, the real one. There's a cutter that's supposed to go oh, right here. So that triangle is a cutter. It's supposed to go across the bottom of the bale to cut the string. And then this thing, right here, that hook is supposed to then drag across the top of the bale and gather the springs onto this spinny thing then it spins to uh, pull the strings off the bale before it goes into the shredder I thought that was cool I saw it. I saw a chain moving. There it went. There goes the uh, thing that's supposed to grab the screens. Uh,
course I'm using the easy unload bale forks to, uh, to drop bales on the belt because I think we all know that the belt has some bulky bale physics. Uh, it's super simple, Raz. You just go in and you edit the belt. You edit the intake and the output in the XML and add straw pellets and hay pellets all uppercase. In fact, in Discord in the mod chat channel, I was, I, I think I, I did an XML and I stuck a sample in there either last week or the start of this week. It's got to go in the input and the output. Gotta do what a guy's gotta do some days. Definitely not using that crane. Oh, and so these pellets, these pallet bags, you see that basically has a wheat plant. If you make hay pellets, the icon's different. Now, depending on if you have, depending on the multi-fruit planer done. Uh, depending on how the silo was set up, the multi-fruit silos are already set up to take pellets because they used the fill type bulk. And if you use the fill type bulk, then basically any fill type that's on the map, that's registered to the map, uh, will work. Other silos that call out fill types individually, you have to add straw pellets and hay pellets, or just take all the fill types out and just put the word bulk in it, and then it would work. I've heard something about the add-on causes Lua errors. I haven't noticed. I haven't fired it up yet. We did on the live stream, but we re really didn't run it that long. Resting, you can feed loose. All you gotta do is take it out to the field and drive over the straw.
I'm trying to get most of this planted where it's this little corners, but I'm not going to bother with getting every little section done. Two little sections we're going to miss. I mean, we just showed that in the, uh, the live stream. Go 11 hours. Midsummer did this grow like I was thinking it would? Oh, no. Yes, it did. I thought we'd get a growth stage, and we did. That's why I really wanted to push to get this field planted and not just stop halfway through the planting. Is field one ready to harvest now? It is also ready to harvest, so that's cool. Uh, that probably won't work as good because there seems to be something in the uh, in the coating of these vehicles that makes them run at different speeds based on the. Uh, the amount of product going into them and we'll demonstrate that here in a minute with this baler uh, we can only go about 13 miles an hour with this size straw windrow but this little windrow over here we're going to be able to go through at 15 is the max speed for the baler Goodness, it was supposed to rain around 9 p.m. today. That now is no longer going to happen. In fact, we're not going to get any rain until Tuesday. That 98 degrees, toasty, toasty summer down here in the Florida panhandle. Here we've got our cotton fields. That silage corn growing down here by the, uh, the street. Oh, whoa, whoa, watch it. Watch it. Mud. Get this thing out. But yeah, it seems to have something in there that's keeping the, uh, the working speed. Down. Uh, because I did I did field 15 okay I did field 15 which was in barley I used the uh, my new Holland no, my, my John Deere harvester has a narrower head and I was bailing that straw at 15 miles an hour uh, the grass field between 5 and 23 I was bailing at 15 miles an hour but when I started bailing the straw on field 14 
which is what the field I used for this harvester, I'm only going 13. It has a bigger head, so the windrow is bigger. We'll get to that here in a little bit. Hot ties are refilled. The heck did that say do to sink? Somebody, did anybody catch that message? It said palletizer refilled with three bags due to something. Sugar beets in that field. We've got sunflowers, the sunshine state, these three fields, oats over there, probably. Uh, and we use this John Deere harvester in that header. I've, I've seen reports of people saying they, they try to run the Primos through like a pile and it cuts off. Hundred and forty one thousand liters of oil. All of our oats are gonna go in the Arable farm silo. We need to feed our animals. Try to feed them every day. And water. Oh, I'll take care of those guys. But yeah, what I'm probably going to do, I'm probably going to set up for the next. Friday's video because really we're doing prep work for that. So I probably had a video called something like straw three ways and basically going to bale straw. We're going to pick straw up with forage wagon for the Razwood factory and then we're going to run the pelletizer through the field to pick up straw and make pellets, make loose pellets. That'll probably be the video. It's just three ways of basically dealing with straw. This field is going to be collected with a forage wagon. The Razwood factory is right here. They take manure, sugar beets, and straw. Uh, the baler. So I also filled this once for 569 bales. Kind of curious how many bales the baler will be able to spit out on a full load of twine. Oh, and something else. I really, really like the dirt mask on this baler. Go ahead and see how dirty it gets and where it gets dirty. The only 
it gets dirty there on the top and a little bit of dirt on the sides. You can see we are working at full speed, 13 miles an hour on this thick windrow. Yeah, but that didn't make three bags of what? Three bags of pellets? I'm thinking this might make 600 bales per load of twine. We started to pick up a little speed where we had no product. We'll lock in cruise control again. And of course, we've got a little piddly windrow. Now we're able to go 15 miles an hour. Working speed on this is 15. Maybe it's because the pelletizer was running when we did a fast forward at night. It only ever put straw in it. Not run any hay through it. Harvester. this field up. Sometimes your hired help gets a little, uh, a little lazy. say yeah that was a surprise to me to me David because I don't think they did that in 17 I'm pretty sure they didn't do that at least initially maybe in an update they changed it need to not run into fences.
I was trying to figure out what that emoji was. Make much sense. Beacon. Yeah, like that guy up there, he's just, oops, just stuck. Elbow cough. The heck? Yeah, I'm hoping a certain modder makes a uh, pallet, a pellet pallet storage, similar to his. Um, like fertilizer pallet storage. Really excited now the straw harvest is out. We followed the series, you knew that I kind of had set the uh, set the stage for this a year ago, a game year ago, because I, the straw harvest was supposedly going to come out in early 2020, uh, but it never happened. So I then I had to go to get a New Holland square baler. Some guy that mods that has three letters in his name. You know, if it could look like something like this, really awesome. Yeah, if it looked something like. one of these really cool I think an industrial it works
As you mean, he can make the pellet silo cook waffles. That would be yummy. Ah, uh, Preston, you got it wrong. NVIDIA named their graphics cards after the Master Modern. In, in honor. Wool storage would look cool. I was thinking something a little bit more industrial just to match the uh, the overall look down there. Steel building and the steel uh, bale sheds. Oh, so we're at 615 bales, and we're out of twine. So 616 bales. Did it. That's how many bales you can get on a full load. Uh, Preston, he's pulling your leg. Jokester. Guys, a jokester. American Farmers Gaming, what's up? It sends $20 from you to me. That's what it does. Thanks for the super chat. And I toss you in there. And I don't care if I break any eggs. trigger oh boxes there 
keep him up. There they are, chilling out. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh no. these forks we kept driving over. We were talking about these wonderful stacks the other day. About such a de such a de depressing thing that it's so sad that uh, that they can't be on console. From the standpoint that console players have that bail limit. 200 bales. That's all they can have. But if they could have bale storage, like these great buildings over here, then uh, they could have unlimited bales almost because they can stick like 160 bales in these, these stacks. And they're no longer bales, they're just just things. It would completely revolutionize gameplay. I wonder console players like to just just use um, bulk. You probably never told me that. No. Uh, who puts who reads the description anyways? you know right the more you know I mean and we were talking in the uh, Ballydorn stream on Tuesday about you know, I didn't even think about Pearl Harvest and the fact that there's good 10 or 12 scripts in that. You know, it used to be Seasons was the only thing that was extra. That was scripts. 
if you knew that they updated the game for that to work. And now Straw Harvest come with scripts for console. So where is the line drawn and how is the line determined to be drawn? Water our cows and our sheep. Now we need to go feed our beef cattle and that might then finish us out for the stream. hand plant the ability to plant trees by hand the ability to the position the water spout in the game I mean there could just be a GTX free DLC for console We should start some sort of petition. Uh, American Farmer Gaming, I looked at the map twice. It is loaded with errors and warnings and Lua problems. Even the most recent update is just littered with missing texture errors, Lua, Lua errors. All right guys, so that is gonna do us for tonight. Thank you for coming out and watching and basically helping us do a little bit of prep work. Get a little bit closer to where we need to be for next Friday's video. Some of what you're watching here is going to be a repeat. Or it's kind of a spoiler alert for tomorrow's video and Monday's video and next Wednesday's video all those have already been recorded this was kind of prepping for video that I had planned for next Friday so until next time guys happy farming <laughs>